So I plugged a couple of maple trees and I decided to try and make some maple syrup. And this is my small one. I just emptied it. I'm just, I just thought, hey, I should share it. And that's probably about an hour. It's not that long. So far it's working really well. I've, I've got this little small bottle here. I'll go to the other one, it won't be long. Just a minute. So this is probably the last couple of days I'll be able to try and make some syrup. But you can see the speed that it drips out when it gets starts to get warmer outside. In the day, um, when it's in the minus, there's nothing dripping out. Now it's got about one a second. Yep. Fun to watch. Yes, yeah, so this is my big maple tree on my property that I'm renting. And I've plugged in two holes. I got one here, and I got another one there. And they both go into this bucket. Right now I got some boiling on the inside because the bucket was full. But uh, and there's some dog poop around it because winter's the snow is melting. But uh, this is not my first batch. I, I tried, apparently it's getting better uh, with the temperature. And uh, I don't know, man, I've never made this. This is my first time doing this. It's the first year I've ever done this and I've been living here for almost 20 years. And I don't know, I'm just playing around with it. And it's a lot of fun. Okay, it takes about five or five hours of boiling. <laughs> I'm not doing it outside because I don't have. A, I'm not gonna put. I don't know. This is just for fun. Like I said, it's just for fun. But uh, I can't believe you can get something that tastes so good from a tree. I could even put a third hose on it on the other end. I didn't do it yet. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going and I'll show you what it's gonna turn out to. Right now. I'm just showing where I'm getting the sugar from or the sap from this is a big tree I mean this tree is like that's a 20 20 that's what I'm making my alcohol with. it's probably a 25 liter bucket and it takes about now at the end of the season I think it took about a day or two to fill up come like right to the top so I'm gonna keep boiling that and I'll show you that in the video. So we're making maple syrup on a stainless steel pot because you have to be stainless steel. I got a lot, I got a big ass 20 ounce, oh no, I gotta stop making maple syrup. You gotta do it in a stainless steel pot. Gotta boil all this stuff down. A long way to go. I gotta filter it later, but for now I'm just filtering it, taking off the foam. Gotta take the foam off. I know everything's really dirty. I've been working a lot on it. Taking a long time to boil down. So, uh, we've been boiling for. We've, uh, about seven hours. I filtered it. I forgot to show that. I just used a coffee, double coffee filter to get all the sugar sand out, that they call. And it's starting to go. I got about two inches left. This man, this fan makes a lot of noise. Got about two inches left. And uh, getting it. Okay, you can't see anything with this. Anyway, I'll let it go a bit further. It should be fast now. I'll show uh, what it's going to look like later. So I just um, want to say a special thanks to uh, what made it possible for this video. I want to say thank you to Mother Nature, and I want to say thank you to those trees that gave me some really good, sweet, pure maple syrup. Some... God's way of giving me sugar. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. This was just me trying something I never 
did before, even if I've been living here for over 20 years, and I never thought of, well, I thought of it, I just never did it in time. There's such a short window for it. And, uh, uh, I got, so far I got a liter out of it, and, uh, that was two times boiling it, like two, two batches. Now I'm on my third batch. So it's probably about half a liter each time I get one of those buckets that are full. But uh, that's going to last me a while. I'm all alone and uh, I don't eat stuff that sweet that often. I'm probably going to use it more for recipes. And next year I'll probably make some alcohol with it. And uh, that's it. I also saw that there was some videos on tapping birch trees or black walnut, but I don't I don't know which one is exactly the black walnut in my forest here, but uh, I got a lot of birch, but apparently it doesn't taste the same. So I don't know. It's very dark, very... It's not made the same way. One of them, you boil it hard and finish it off lightly, and the other one, the birch, you have to really just evaporate it, like, really slowly, or you burn it right away. It turns And it looks like molasses. It's so dark. Anyway, I just wanted to share. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. And... The only, the only negative side I'd have to say, it's not really negative, but people burn it out, they cook it outside, and I understand why now, it makes a lot of steam in the house, burning for five hours, like really boiling, so that's the only thing I find, I don't, I'm not going to do it on a fire, I don't want to ruin my pots, and, and so I do it inside, and I just put the fan on the ceiling on full speed, so that it's like, makes the vapors disperse everywhere, whatever the word is, or makes it fly everywhere. And anyway, hope everybody's having a great day. Finally, spring is coming. Today is going to be the first day that we have sun instead of yucky weather. It's still in minus, I don't know, almost minus six, seven. And that's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. But I'm sure that any questions you do have, this wouldn't be the first video you're watching on YouTube on how to make maple syrup. And it's really simple. So, yeah, that's it. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.